Let's swap out an attic exhaust fan. It is a Friday and we are in Lincoln, Rhode Island. And this customer called us out because this attic exhaust fan was making a ton of noise. So we're gonna replace it with this Max Air exhaust fan. And when I took it out of the box and assembled it, this fan was a super high quality. I was really impressed with the complete build of it. And what also I like to do is I like to order these rubber bushings for them as well, because that actually takes all the vibration out of these fans. And basically when we actually went to do a test cycle on it, you could not even hear the fan running from the first floor. This thing was super Super, super quiet and it's just a great setup and this is the way I like to do it and I gave you guys the part number there in case you want to order them for your setup here we're changing out some outlets and you're noticing that I'm actually writing the circuit numbers on these outlets and I'm sure a lot of you are like hey this is a residential property why are you writing the circuit numbers down well I wrote the circuit numbers down because there is a lot of important equipment in here such as an oxygen machine. And in case I'm not the one that comes back to change more outlets out, I want to make sure that the next guy actually shuts off the correct breaker for this equipment. As you can see on this panel here, I labeled circuit number 22 oxygen machine. Just so everybody knows, do not turn off that breaker. And I'm going to explain how I actually found so the circuits right now. This is going to be a little right bit now. of a shorter video for today. We were absolutely slammed with service calls. We were going from job to job and I didn't really get a chance to record that much. But since I'm done for the day now, I want to show you guys and highlight as to how I actually found those circuits and turned off the right circuit and to make sure that I didn't turn off the circuit that had you know critical equipment that was plugged into it such as an oxygen machine and the other important equipment that was in that home so this Klein circuit tracer this is a fantastic tool and it works you know about 90% of the time to find the right circuit the problem is is I do not trust this tool in a critical situation such as equipment that's plugged in there such as an oxygen machine because because if this tool does not find the right circuit breaker and it gives me the wrong breaker and I turn it off, I am in a very bad situation. So I do not trust this tool. This goes away. But this, this simple setup here is how I actually find the correct circuit breaker. And you might be asking yourself, well, how did you do that? What I did was I have a 15 amp corded drill here. So what I did was I took the drill, I plugged it into the outlet that I wanted to turn off. I then went into the basement with my amp clamp and I put the amp clamp on each breaker until I found the spike in the amperage. So then after I did that, I noticed that, you know, the amperage spiked up all the way up to like seven amps or something. And then once I released the trigger, it went down. I then plugged this drill into the outlet that was powering the oxygen machine. Once I did that, I again, I went downstairs in the basement with the amp clamp. Noticed that the amperage spiked all the way up and then came back down. I know that that circuit number 22 is the circuit breaker that I cannot turn off. It is powering the oxygen machine and we cannot turn that breaker off. But the other ones we can because now we have identified that that is the breaker.